guys, it's Anna. Bienvenido otra vez a mi canal. If you're new here, what's up? Today, yes, it's gonna be another one of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls hauls. I also went to Ross. I actually surprisingly passed up on a lot of things that I saw though. So this is from a few other stores that I went to. I had to wait a little bit before I like ventured back out again after shopping like for my other hauls. I had to go, I don't know, I think it was because I was looking still for a gift, a birthday present for my friend. I finally found it. But so I was like out at the stores because I was hoping to find something at TJ Maxx for her, but it, that didn't happen. So I also went to Ulta. I'm gonna start with non-makeup stuff first. You guys know how I like to do with my hauls. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure that you do so you don't miss out on new videos. Also hit that little bell notification so it tells you when I upload my videos. There is a box in the back. There's only so much I can do, okay? I always have to look like in the notebook section, like the stationary stuff, because I just have a problem. But so I picked this up actually for my madre, for my mom, the Moleskine Six Kahir Journals. It's a special pack, so it's got like six different colored ones in here. I showed her a picture of this while I was out, and I was like, do you want this? And she was like, yes, I guess it was a good price for it. This was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. It says compare at $25. I don't know the original price. Sometimes I mentioned the compare at prices because I don't know why but that's still even if I know the actual real price of an item for some reason that compare at price that they put on these stickers sometimes still gets me then I also found two of these books that actually came together like wrapped in tape but I took the tape off as soon as I got home because I didn't want it to mess it up too much it's a little set of Harry Potter notebooks but if you look at it it kind of changes like how their note papers change because they're all magical but so yeah it's basically supposed to be like their newspaper covers that change which is it's really cool like that weird plasticky thing got this for $3.99 it says compare it five dollars like I said it was together in a set I think when I went in line I saw this too but for some reason I was gonna pick up two so that I could actually use one as a notebook oh my god but I also kind of want to take this apart and put it on my in my planners but I'm not really sure I just don't want to mess them up they just look so nice the paper inside is even decorated like are you kidding me I'm a sucker for Harry Potter I really am like even on the back it's like these are so nice if I see these again I will probably on the clearance I found another one of these little like celebrity little stationery I don't know why I just I get trapped in by these with the celebrity faces on them I don't know why this one has Billie Eilish on it, it just says bury your thoughts it's a little notebook this one I did find on clearance marked down for two dollars and fifty cents I think originally it was like four dollars it says compare at seven got this it's still wrapped up in the plastic and everything I saw I really want the Kardashian ones but I haven't seen them marked down yet when I find them Mark down, I will be buying them for sure. And I think maybe I was like hungry. I think actually this was a day that I had gone right before I went grocery shopping. So I didn't have any of my coffee flavorings. So I was really enticed because they had so many down there at the Marshalls that I went to. I got some of these, literally just the coffee syrups. So many different flavors, but I was looking for the ones that were sugar free because I'm on keto. I know sometimes you do have to be careful because some of the sugar substitutes that things use kick you out of ketosis or whatever. I try not to do this, but like I said, I was out of all my coffee flavorings and stuff, so I bought it. For $3.99, they say compare it $6. The Jordan Skinny Syrups Signature Series. This one is Chocolate Caramel Truffle. To be honest, I don't really like this one too much. So I'm glad that I only got one of this flavor. By a different brand, I was really into getting the caramel sugar-free ones because some of the flavorings, the syrups that they had there weren't even for like just coffee. It was like too fruity. Like it was like cotton candy cake. And I'm like, I don't want that in my coffee. I stuck with these, the salted caramel. It's by the brand, the Artisans of Coffee. Sugar-free, this one was also $3.99. I haven't tried this one yet. I went to Ross also one day and I got some clothes. It's in a Ross bag. First thing is actually something I think I got from TJ Maxx. The struggle with bathing suits for my life my entire vida is dificultado. It's very tough out there for a girl like me, with a chest like mine, fine bathing suit. But, you know, so I do what I can, but I picked this up only because of the price tag. A lot of their two-piece sets there were still like $20, $30, I guess, because we're like in the middle of summer. At first, I wasn't even gonna look at the bathing suits, and I was like, something told me to just glance. I think it was the line, the length of the line. So I was like, just look at the this one is actually from Hollister. It is super cute. I love the pink. It matches my shirt. I love the like texture that it has on it. It's like a ruffly texture and then it's a nice tie to it. I don't know if I should be embarrassed by the fact that this is an extra large. 
and the bottoms fit me because I was mainly getting this to try to get the top to fit even if I can't really wear it as a swimsuit to the beach because I need like girl needs support at least I could wear it kind of like as a bralette top underneath the shirt with a bra on too because that's how I live my life we gotta double up on bras nice I love the tie up in the back but the nice thing about this it's only $9.99 it says compare it $13 I highly doubt that price like I said most of their bathing suits that were there even if they were like two piece like this were still like $20 $30 so for one that was only $10 and this is super cute very on trend the top doesn't really fit me but I kind of I mean I was hoping that didn't happen I know how my life is with my body and buying some suits all of the rest of the clothing that I got is all from Ross again another situation where the line was crazy insane and I think it's because since you can't have like too many people in like the vicinity in like an area they can't really have that many cashiers even at most stores so like the lines are crazy usually but like still to me that doesn't make sense because then you've got a ton of people bunched up next to each other in line waiting and just whatever Ross I picked these up mainly because I've been on the hunt and I've been very into these like I don't, I don't really want to say compression shorts Spanx typey garments shapers we'll call them shapers like waist shapers and everything they're also juicy couture you guys know my unnatural obsession for anything juicy couture is like so real I saw these I got a size large so I'm hoping they fit okay these were $9.99 compare $18 I got two of them so these are just the black but they kind of have that like suck in texture to them maybe you can kind of tell on the pink everything's pink huh today and I mainly got these two though more like high-waisted and then wear like my sweatpants a little bit lower so that you see the band that's a thing that I want to do, I guess. So you guys might see that on my Instagram. I don't know. We'll see how that works out. So I got a ton of shirts and I think they're mainly from the guys section. I caught a glimpse of something maybe while I was like about to get in line at Ross and then I saw one little piece of fabric and I was like, you know what? We're going to go over there and look at the guys shirts. Just see what happens. They had so many good shirts there in the guys section. So I got two, it looks like from women's. First one, Marvel crop top. This is like my vibe right now. Dark tie-dye. I love tie-dye. I've always loved tie-dye. So I love that tie-dye is a thing. Whenever it comes back to be a real thing, I'm all about it. And you've got Marvel characters on here. I'm like what? And it's a crappy toppy. I got this in kind of a larger size, so it's not super, super cropped on me but I kind of like that. It's a size large, but it was only $8.99. So let's compare it 15. $8.99 I figured was kind of basically like the price of shirts at like the thrift stores. So I could do that. And this is brand new. It's been a very long time, I'll be honest with you guys, since I got like brand new clothing because I do usually get it thrifted secondhand. So I felt special buying these $9 shirts <laughs> for myself, okay? Also in the girls section, I found this one. Ah. This is like my new favorite shirt, I feel like. It's a crop top, I'm so excited, I can't even like think. Sleeveless, which is always not really my favorite thing because I'm not really a fan of my arms, but I can get over that because this shirt is amazing. It's got all the Nickelodeon shows, like the old school Nickelodeon shows on it, but the thing that I love about it the most, is like characters that you don't usually always see. And there's some of my favorite shows. I actually kind of almost don't even wanna wear this shirt because of that, and I kind of wanna make it into a pillow. Do I have a problem now that I say that I kind of want to go back and get another one so that I can wear one and make one into a pillow this was eight dollars it was seven ninety nine I might try to find it again all real monsters on here who actually watched all real monsters I remember watching that and my sister would always be like this is disgusting and I'd be like yeah it is disgusting, but I can't stop watching it. And then the other one that she used to always say was so disgusting was Ren and Stimpy. Didn't I see him on here? The guy from Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> now that show was disgusting. But then it's also got the Angry Beavers, which is like my all-time favorite thing, because like whenever I think of like cartoons that make me think of like my childhood in Alaska, I always think of Angry Beavers for some reason. Maybe it's because they were constantly like outside in the woods. I don't know. This shirt is everything. For the shirts that I got from the guys section that I love, and so that's why too I just needed to do this haul because I cannot wait to take these tags off and wear these shirts much, and I'm probably going to be matching with every single guy when I walk around anywhere, especially probably once I go back to Delaware. I'm going to be matching with all the guys. I'm okay with that. This first one that I got just says hype on it, but I love the colorway. I run hot weirdly, so I like sweat easily, so I need black stuff. So I love this. I got it in a men's size large. I think I got all of my shirts in a men's size large, just because I did want them to be oversized. And the day that I bought them though, I put them on, I tried them on as soon as I got home because I wanted to make sure that I really did a good thing with that size, and I did. I got a hoodie, it's short sleeved, oversized. I love the colorway. How do I say this? Vox. 
Papuli for the people. This was $9.99. Kind of hurt my soul $10 for a single shirt, but that shirt is just amazing. I think that might have been the most expensive one that I picked up, maybe. Also from the guy section, I had to get this one because like how summer wannabe cool is this shirt? And it's black, but colorful enough for summer. This is gonna be so great. Guys section, again, for the win, it's got a pocket on the front. Like, who do I think I am? This isn't a size extra large, but it works for me. It was $7.99 and it's by the brand Westy Manufacture Co. I don't know, it's just a men's shirt. But like I said, I tried them all on and the sizes are fine, so. Last shirt that I got, I think is the same brand as the first one. Yeah, it's the same brand for the people, I don't, I don't know how to say it. Technically it looks very similar, but it also looks like a like sports jersey shirt. I love the colors of this. It says Los Angeles on it. It's got a hood, sleeveless. You guys are not really my favorite, but like this I love. And it's got like a chunky label down at the bottom. I don't know what else to say about this. What size did I get this one in? A large. And I love it. Buying those clothes though was definitely like a treat for me because like I said, I never really buy brand new clothes like that. That is everything from this TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have been able to get to any of your TJ Maxx or Marshalls stores or if you found anything at all in them or if there's anything that you guys have seen that I should be on the hunt for and you guys think I would like. Give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy my TJ Maxx and Marshalls hauls. And yeah, muchísimas gracias for watching this video. I just don't want it to be too long. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. All right, bye guys.